interviewers, how old were you when you first started working out? For many of us, fitness is an interest we develop at a very young age, whether you're athletic or just looking for a new hobby. The problem is you may still be a little too young to be working out that hard. That's right, I said it. Let's talk about that today. At what age are you ready for exercise? What are the exercises you should be doing? What happens to your body if you're too young? We're talking all that and more, so stay tuned. For starters, are kids in shape these days? As of 2022, studies are showing that 75% of American teens aren't getting enough exercise. That is probably due to the lack of energy from poor sleeping habits and bad diet. This is becoming a bigger problem as the years go by. You see, childhood obesity rates are rising. As of 2019, up to 17% of US children were obese. That's almost 13 million kids. These were seen as people anywhere between the ages of 2 to 19. Studies cited overeating and lack of exercise as the main factors. Young teens are spending way too much time on their phones rather than engaging in physical activity. The only muscles they seem to be working are their fingers against their keypad. What role does social media play in obesity? Recent studies have shown that kids spend anywhere between five to seven hours a day on social media. Five to seven whole hours! That's time they could be spending outdoors with friends. Or so we thought. It's highly likely that all their friends are inside on social media as well. When we hear about childhood obesity rates increasing, it's pretty clear that all this time spent on Instagram and TikTok are a factor. Experts recommend that teens should be spending no more than two hours a day on their phones. Any more can lead to things like lack of sleep, depression, anxiety, and lack of physical activity. All of these factors are seen as contributors to obesity in both children and adults. Throw a poor diet in there and it's a recipe for disaster. In fact, let's take a look at that. What are teenagers eating that makes them so sluggish? It should be no surprise that adolescents are eating way more meals out of the house than they are from the comfort of their kitchen. From 2015 to 2018, one third of American children and adolescents consumed fast food on a regular basis. The same study showed that about 14% of their calories came from fast food on any given day. Let's just examine that a little closer. The average teen boy requires up to 2,800 calories per day, while the average girl usually needs around 2,200. The average Big Mac combo from McDonald's is around 1,080 calories. Upsizing the fries or drink could bring it well over 1,100 calories. If a teen is eating like this on the regular, they may be getting close to half their calories from fast food. This is horrible for their development and can make them sluggish and lazy. The more fast food you're eating, the less physical activity you're gonna want to do. Now, to be fair, it's a hectic world for younger kids these days. Everything's so fast-paced. Sometimes it's so much quicker to grab a burger from your local fast food spot than to cook a wholesome meal at home. Things are also so much more expensive. These reasons and more can be contributing to teenage weight gain. At what age should you start working out? Well, for one thing, this question is a little more complex than we think. There are so many different types of exercise. To put it simply, kids should start engaging in physical activity from as early as seven years old. Now, this doesn't mean your kid needs to start pumping iron. They should burn calories simply by running around and playing with friends. If they want to start strength training, well, that's a different story. Kids can work their muscles, but they need to be following proper directions. Young people's bodies are still developing. This means their muscles haven't fully formed. If they lift weights that are too heavy, it can put strain on muscles, tendons, and cartilage that haven't yet turned into bone. It's best for them to stick to light resistance exercises like bicep curls and tiny free weights. This will allow them to practice their technique. Over time, they'll be able to move up to heavier weights. Now, many young kids think that just because they're lifting weight, they're gonna bulk up. This is wrong. In fact, it's misconceptions like this that can be harmful. Lifting barbells as a young child is not going to turn you into the next Marvel superhero. It's supposed to increase your muscle strength and endurance. To put on mass, you're gonna wanna wait until adolescence. Experts recommend that your kids receive up to 60 minutes a day of physical activity. This can include strength training, which should happen at least three times a week. What are the benefits of strength training for kids? Outside of muscle strength and endurance, strength training can benefit them if they're getting into sports. Exercise can protect a child's muscles from sports-related injuries. It's especially important if the sport requires them to move at a quick pace, like football and soccer. Weight training can also help strengthen young bones, making them less vulnerable to injury. This is important for them even if they're not into sports. Outside of athletics, a healthy exercise routine can help promote healthy blood pressure and cholesterol levels. This will lower their chances of developing heart disease. Given the rates of childhood obesity these days, you can't go wrong with that. 
If your young one is experiencing problems with mental health, it's a lot better if they stay on their feet. Anxiety is the single most common mental health disorder today, especially for younger people. Between 2016 and 2019, around 10% of U.S. children reported feeling some form of anxiety. When it came to depression, it was close to 5%. These disorders can affect their ability to focus on daily tasks. As a result, they'll often seek comfort in binge eating or drinking alcohol. Physical activity of any kind can increase their confidence and self-esteem. So, what are some of the dangers young people face? There's always danger when it comes to working out, even for adults. But when children exercise, they need to be sure they can handle the amount of weight they're working with. An intense amount of weight can result in easy injury. Teenagers 14 to 16 need to be particularly careful. Given the changes their bodies are going through at this time, their muscles are especially vulnerable. Teens who exercise on a regular basis are at a higher risk of muscle fatigue. This makes it harder for your muscles to move and function. If you're going too hard on the weights, you may lift a little more than you can handle. Not being careful can result in fractured ligaments, torn tissues, and knee replacements. You also need to consider the role of posture. When you're working out without using the proper posture, it will eventually lead to injury. A teen's poor diet can also lead to health issues. Remember, the average kid today isn't eating the healthiest of foods. Since young teens often forget about nutrition, a lot of their hard workouts can go to waste. It's like they go straight from lifting weights to lift a slice of pizza. If you're going to gain muscle, you need to be eating the right foods. Exercising while eating unhealthy snacks can put unwanted pressure on your heart, leading to problems in the future. What exercises should teenagers do? Whether it's at the gym or outdoors on a nice day, there are plenty of exercises for teenagers to do. It's recommended they start out with simple things like walking or running. Teens are also avid cyclists. It's not uncommon to see them cruising down your neighborhood street on a dirt bike. While it is fun for any young kid, they don't realize that cycling is an important source of exercise. You get to work your muscles all while burning calories. When it comes to strength training, teenagers can lift a slightly heavier amount of weight. Keep in mind, their bodies are still developing. Which one should they not do? If you're under the age of 20 and you need to find yourself in the gym, you may want to avoid using heavy machines. These require you to use more strength than your body can handle. These include leg press. If you're not using the proper posture, the pressure you're putting on your legs will cause you to hurt your hamstring or fracture your tissues. Other exercises like overhead squats, bend over rows, and jumping jack press can also be dangerous for younger fitness enthusiasts. There's nothing quite like the feeling you get after a hard workout. You feel like you can take on the world. Well, after you rest, of course. Care to learn more? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more workout videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Find out what's better for weight loss, cardio or weights. Or how about 11 simple exercises that show results after just one week? Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to improve your fitness. How old were you when you started working out? Let us know in the comments below.